Hey you, Meow Kaiser coming at you today with a guide to playing Linux. Recently, I have been told that there's going to be a relaunch of Black Survival, fixing a lot of the bugs involved in the current version of the game, as well as potential servers for the game, meaning that we shouldn't be dealing with lag. As such, I've been asked to make more guides, so I intend on doing more videos like this, where it's going to be like a short little guide on what makes each character special, as well as a little bit of gameplay showcasing what the character is capable of. If you just want to go straight to the gameplay, you can actually go to the description below. I have a timestamp there. You can just click on that and go straight to the gameplay. So in my opinion, Lennox is probably the strongest blunt character in the entire game. The reason why she's able to do this is because her... Not only does she start with uh, really decent stats. Now, mind you, she starts with D blunt, but you don't necessarily need D plus blunt to be really strong in this game. Her skill, fishing, channels for three seconds, and she either reels in a fish, turtle shell, or a can. And the exact percentages are 10% for turtle shell, 35% for smelts, 5% for can, 15% for sari, 15% for mudfish, 15% for carp, and 5% for tuna. So a thing to keep in mind here is that a lot of people that play Linux, they complain whenever they get Saris. The reality about Saris is that they're 80 points of healing for free. Don't complain about getting 80 points of healing for free every 80 seconds. That's not something you ever want to complain about. The only thing that's really a miss here is the can, which is a 5% chance. So most of the time, you're pretty happy with what you fish up. Another common misconception about uh, Linux is that she should always be holding heated whetstones. She needs to value that over anything else more just so that she can cook with it. Uh, cooking pots are just as important. If you take uh, a look at the percentages, you have a 40% chance of being able to cook something with a cooking pot, and you have a 50% chance of being able to cook something with a heated whetstone. And of course, 95% chance of like fishing up something that is food. So while the heated whetstone is more healing overall, you still want to grab uh, cooking pots and hang on to them. This is a character that really likes hanging on to her lighters and her cooking pots. Uh, another common mistake people do is they pre-make their heated whetstones before actually fishing up something that can use it. I would just hold the lighter and if you do get something that can be cooked with a heated whetstone, you can go for the whetstone later. But if you start making a bunch of heated whetstones, then all of a sudden you need oil for your bird meat, you start running into a lot of inventory issues. And so just holding lighters is just good practice. And then there's her combat skill. So what you what it does is you what, you press Q on somebody and they deal 15% less skill damage for 10 seconds. And then moving to another area inflicts 14 skill damage on that character on that player. Uh, this is actually really strong against characters that are using Spy Umbrella, and it's also really strong against Bianca and other characters that use skill damage. For the most part though, the skill is mostly just used as a way to make people stay and fight you, right? Because they don't want to take the 14 damage when they move to another area. Now sometimes you get a kill because they move to another area and they die. I mean that's cool, it doesn't always happen. But the big thing about this skill is that you use it against people that are dealing less damage to you. So if they're dealing like 10 less damage to you, they're more likely to stay and fight you, allowing you to get more mastery and a really good trade where they're not doing a lot of damage to you, but you're dealing good damage to them. That being said, the strongest blunt weapon right now is Spy Umbrella. Spy Umbrella is kind of busted. Uh, a lot of people are a little bit confused by the weapon. It only says two stat attack on it, but the reality about Spy Umbrella is that because it gives plus skill damage every time you attack, I believe it's plus 28. I'm not going to check it so that people can make fun of me in the comments if I'm wrong, but... Because of how the scaling in this game works, the only time that she gets out damaged while she's on Spy Umbrella is when another character's at S, right? So Spy Umbrella will deal more damage than any other purple weapon in the game, all the way to A+. It's only at S you get uh, outscaled, and that's just due, due to uh, how armor scaling in this game works. Mind you, you don't want to be forcing Spy Umbrella every single game, you just want to go for it if it's available. This game's a lot about flexing. Uh, there's one last item that she does really well with. Well, I actually, I'll say two. One of them is Drop Near, and Drop Near is really good with her because uh, she ends up cooking a lot of fish. So usually you can save a tuna so that you can get two times tuna when you uh, cook a grilled tuna using the Drop Near stack. For those of you who don't know, Drop Near cooks an extra of your fifth food item that you craft. This also counts stamina, so you got to make sure that you don't accidentally create like an extra oatmeal raisin tea or something like that. And the other item that she synergizes really well with is Eye of Horus. 
Uh, Eye of Horus is an accessory that gives extra healing off of whatever you eat. Just by nature of her cooking a lot of things, she just kind of synergizes that very well. But I mean, kind of any character in the game really does well with that. It's just another strong accessory to just be aware of. Other than that, there aren't really too many nuances to playing Lennox. She's just a very solid character and very straightforward. Just be aware that you can only use fishing in water areas, which are docks, beach, lighthouse, and pond. Another thing to keep in mind about fishing is that uh, you late game, you want to be making sure to using fishing off cooldown. But for the most part, during the early game, trying to force fishing out in the early game before you have your armor out will actually just clog your inventory and you'll just run into a bunch of issues. Also, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And so with that, let's get into it. I don't know how long I want to stream tonight. I have a caffeine headache because I forgot to drink coffee this morning. So I might cut the stream off a little bit earlier than normal, so please forgive me. Wait, wait, what am I doing? I'm, I'm trolling. I'm actually trolling. Do I even want this TV? I don't think so. That was convenient. Gemstone. Sweet. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I get the weapon? The weapon a thing that exists. That's okay. Who needs a weapon? Not me. I'll be fine. This is fine. Alright, I have a weapon now. I have a better weapon now. We should be able to win this contest. <laughs> Bo Adriana. <laughs> My man needs leave. <laughs> So I'm not gonna hold it anyway. Sup? Sup? 
너무 우습게 보이지 마. 야. Hey, got a fountain pen. Nice. Don't ask him. What it took ya? Hopefully, I can still find thick paper. Wait, no, I didn't want to search. Ah. We can fix this. Eight hot ramen is a good spot to be in. Actually, I don't want this. Tree of life. Hello. Hello. Give me a feather at some point. At some point. I'm pretty sure it's just you, junk dog. But we can handle this. What? Please leave. Not He's not gonna leave. Oh, hello. You died. Oh my god. Did he really pursue me, dude? Really, dude? <laughs> I wasn't even low on life. I understand. Please give me a wet down. Wet down. Please. I'll take that. Bruh. This is very unfortunate. Must have sell in the game, so I can't be unshackled killed anymore.
Do I look dead? I think we're fine as long as we get our whetstone area. There you go. We're good. I actually would not mind smelts here. Sometimes it feels like this game's taunting me, dude. It really feels like that. That glitch. <laughs> I just counterattacked both of them. You know, as totally intended. Game's working fine. Guess not. Do not show Just count one B seventeen pretty much. Okay. Think about that. We're just too busy struggling. Do not go. What? I'm chilling here for a while. There's the pickaxe. That. All right, good stuff. Hello. Do not. Everyone's here. What? Space. 
I see. No, oh, come on. Cool. Also cool. Awesome. Very cool, very nice. It's so easy, chat. I'm telling you. This game is so easy. Man, imagine struggling in black survival. Couldn't be me. There's no whetstones here. Right? There's no whetstones? Yeah, I see. I'll take those. I know the corpse had one, but I'm not staying for that. It's better for me to go here. Unfortunately, I don't have a second weapon. I do need to think about that. Alright, there's what's on. What's done in the game is the one on the corpse. So let's try to get it. There it is. All right, good stuff. Good fight anymore. I see. He's not even peace zoning. Come 
Nice. I think we still take this to final area. Very annoying though. That if that's bare, it's already dead. No point in switching areas. press it anymore. Not with that attitude. You're right. You're right. You're right. There are a couple options on how to approach the final area, but I really don't know how much HP and stuff people have. his fault. He should have had framing. <laughs> yeah, he, f he used framing on the Escheon, and then he proceeded to lose because he didn't have it anymore. That was his fault. Well, we lasted with Spy Umbrella the entire game. That was exciting. Yeah, it's going on YouTube.